in, zoomed in. Okay, I'm here. My dad thinks he's picking up his best friend, my best friend. So we're gonna go surprise him. Ahorita me lo muestra, ahorita me lo muestra. ¿Pero no te sorprendí? Uy, no, pues. No, eso es peligroso, Johanna. Ay, tampoco. Sí, no. ¿Ya está comiendo? Cuente. No, no, no puedo hablar. De lo. De la sorpresa. Saluden. Hola. Pues Hola. Familia Martínez. <risa> Hola. Así puro Martínez aquí. Martínez, papá. Day three. Hello. Hi, how are you, everybody? Hi. Yeah. So today we are going to ¿a dónde vamos? Hable y maneje, está bien. Okay, baby. If I... En español. Si nos chocamos, no hay problema. Firma bien. Milan para allá. Vale, cuidado. Este, vamos para Buga al Milagroso. ¿Y por qué es famoso Buga el Milagroso? Porque una pequeña historia. Una pequeña historia de una, una lavadora que estaba en el río y estaba lavando su ropa cuando de pronto vi un, un Cristo que estaba cayendo, eh, flotando y entonces lo recogió, lo llevó para la casa, le rezó y era muy bonito y el Cristo fue creciendo, creciendo y creciendo. ¿Es la historia? Esa es la verdadera historia, me parece que como tú estás acostumbrada a decirme mentiras a tu papi que ahí lo matas ahora en la llegada. Papi, Entonces, que no estamos actuando, estamos contando una historia. Contando la historia, pero que explicar porque me estás escuchando públicamente. Entonces yo tengo que tengo mi derecho a entender. Este, es una verdadera historia. Ahora que lleguemos, te voy a pedir el papelito o okay. el librito donde está la historia. Okay. Y el, So he said basically that someone ha, was washing their clothes and that they found a little like baby Jesus in the water and, and it was on when, the river. In, the, in the river and era una iglesia o era una un crucifijo, era, un Cristo. It was a, a Christ, a Christ. ¿Ya? ¿Esa es la historia? Sí, esa es la historia. Ok, entonces el Señor Milagroso queda en Buga, ¿right? Queda en Buga. So entonces ha hecho Buga, muchos milagros. Supuestamente he, ha ayudado a muchas he's personas. Dice el milagroso. El milagroso en inglés es the. How do you say? Miracle. So he does miracle work for those who are interested. Miracle, man. Religion. Miracle, religion. Miracle history. Cross. So that's where we're going. We're going to breakfast first, and then there's a place called Ginebra where I used to go when I was really young, uh, we used to eat sancocho, and they had like these big like plantains, and it's super good. So that's where we're gonna go right now. Say, be there soon. I get 
un fuse. Esto es un pan de yuca. ¿Qué es la diferencia entre un pan de yuca y un pan de queso? La diferencia es que el pan de queso tiene más queso uh -huh. y el pan de yuca tiene menos, pero es esponjado y tostado. Es un típico del Valle del Cauca. Es un bread, pero tostado. Zanahoria y naranja. Todo natural. Todo es 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 natural. So, huevos pericos are eggs mixed with tomato and onions, and I like and I, ha I added a little bit of ham. Anyways, but I like them when they make it here because the egg is like natural. You know how eggs over there are just not good. They're like wet, moist. I like it like that. Okay, story time for those who didn't really understand. Quick story. So this lady saw that this old man, this father, was going to go to jail. So she got rid of all her savings and went to save him and give the money up for him. So that same indigenous lady, and it says here in the story, uh, found this physical cross in the water. The story is that she put that physical cross in the house and people started hearing stories about it getting bigger and bigger and bigger, the cross. So what happened was they ended up taking that cross and giving it its own church and people actually come here to Buga, El Señor de los Milagros, to make, uh, to ask for miracles, like let's say if someone's suffering from cancer or you have a sick child or any of those things, people have come to say that by coming here, their miracles have come true. By the way, this is just the history of religion here here in cali colombia so you know it's just the story here not to take too personal but i actually love this little uh quick picture that i got this is him this is the physical cross that got bigger and bigger and there was this beautiful lady that i captured and it's this is just something really really big for us here in cali Espera. esta la es la hacienda albania ginebra valle so we are here because a long time ago um me and my dad and my mom used to come eat this really good sancocho de gallina and i was trying to beg him to figure out where it was and we're here thank you dad and we brought my brother <laughs> wow <laughs> Okay, he's making me one side, even though there's nothing crazy to see here. I love it because it's like open door. Open doors. Oh, look how pretty. Colombian typical houses are usually like out in the open. They have like a little patio in the middle and like balcony all throughout. Wow. Huh? A little bit of fried plantain as big as my hand and my face. Ahogadito. Y esto es que es ají o es picante? Ají. Y esto es ahogadito. Oh, yes. El ajillo para mí. Era una trucha. No, no ¿qué me dice? Chuleta. Ah, ¿qué dice chuleta? Ah, pensé que esto iba a tu dulce. Uf, Gracias, Vanessa se comer, comería eso entero. Usted pidió una chuleta Valle Caucana. Valle Caucana. Valle Caucana. Y un sancochito de gallina. Gracias.
No me lo parte todavía, por favor. No te preocupes. Gracias. Órale, güey. Está más grande que la cabeza mía. Wow. We just ate a lot. A lot, a lot, a lot. So, apparently in this area, Ginebra is where they make the best. Ooh, sancocho de gallina. So, como se trucha al ajillo, which is fish. Chuleta valle caucana fried, which is pork. Baum, 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 baum. ¿Qué dijo? Joha. Joha. Diga Joha. Joha. Este tiene como voz humana. Estamos en Maloca de los Vientos. Obviamente se llama Maloca porque mire el paisaje, es algo espectacular. Mm. And they also have little adventures, they like tie you up and you can do the activities. Look dad, you see you can go and then I'll show you a little bit. So you can follow me. Follow me. Maduro. And you go all the way up there, and I don't have the balls to do it, so I'm gonna turn around. This is a little park of diversiones. You're gonna go down the stairs. Va usted primero. Va usted primero. Hi, little boy. Step Fernando, be careful. Follow me. So you can see the whole city. So beautiful. It actually, we came here at night and it looked very, very beautiful as well. We call it un estadero, so that's where people like take showers in the pool, they watch, they have like this big TV screen. El Arca de Noé. They have parties, it's like a popular place.
¿En dónde estamos? De la introducción. Estamos en Cristo Rey. Ok. En the Bee Mountain, on the north from Cali, Colombia. Ok. Just some fun facts. I'm sure you guys know the Cristos from Brazil. This Cristo is actually not that much different in height. It's just a little bit lower than the one in Brazil, but it's not that much. The sculptors are these Italian brothers called Adelindo and Alideo Tassoli. It, it weighs about 464 tons. It's a really big thing for Cali and it's beautiful to come see. So so tired guys it's uh 4 30 so i'm at 4 and media in the morning i'm super excited and there was this little we were for granada and there was this little this little there was this huge place that everybody was already dancing like at nine at night and we were gonna go home back to the airbnb and go to sleep because my flight is so early but how do i go to cali for three days and not even go dance salsa so that's literally what we did. We went inside, it was so much fun. We stayed there for about an hour and had a little beer, Michela. Eh, cuando estamos en Granada, eh, estamos pasando por una discoteca que ya estaba llena como a las 8 de la noche y ya íbamos a ir a descansar a la casa, pero le dije a mi papá, ¿cómo a ir a Cali y no a bailar una salsita al mes? Entonces nos fuimos y bailamos por una horita y aquí estoy en el avión, son las cuatro y media, estoy súper cansada, pero... I, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog, ojalá les guste este bilingual vlog, bilingual, not even this Spanglish vlog. I hope that this encourages everyone to just, just go out. I mean, there's so much more to see in the world and you know it's really up to you to to find the way to figure it out you don't need tons of money to see the world you don't need you need a valid passport and you just necesita las ganas eh, le quiero decir muchas gracias a mi familia la que alcancé a ver porque solo eran tres días la pasé muy rico i learned a lot very happy thankful for the family that i saw and I just, I hope everyone, <laughs> I'm sleepy, I hope everyone really just takes the time. I think it's just so important, and your parents, guys, your parents are such a blessing, you know. We may have our complications, we may not always see the eye to eye, or there might be people out there who have difficult relationships with their parents, but honestly, guys, it's, you, life is so short. It, it's scary and it sounds corny that everybody's like life's so short yolo no it literally is la vida es muy corta la mía que les está diciendo en este video que ojalá esto inspire a las personas a visitar a sus países su cultura que aprendan que sepan más y que aprecien a sus papás que no importa a veces uno no tiene una relación perfecta o hay personas de pronto por ahí que no tengan una relación fácil con sus padres pero al final del día la vida es una y ojalá los visiten y los amen y los quieran y la vida muy corta. Yo los quiero mucho, besote. Nos vemos en los Miami y después Los Ángeles. A trabajar.